Well, I'm on my way down to the park again, waiting for my package still. I don't even know if the guy has it shipped yet or not. He said he was gonna overnight it because he didn't get it out yesterday. I don't really know what's going on, except for I'm all showered up, clean clothes for the first time in a long time. I bought a little too much food at Walmart, and now I got to carry all this back. I was gonna be able to eat it all between yesterday and this morning, but apparently I wasn't. <laughs> I had a gallon of ice cream for breakfast, and that kind of just. I'm actually gonna try to eat this pizza right now because I'm sick of carrying it. I may be getting some looks, but I don't care. <laughs> Sitting on that bench, I was getting looks from locals and then compliments from hikers. <laughs> yep. I'm doing this one pretty good. I want to give a shout out to the Pink Panther who paid for my stay at the bunkhouse last night. Stayed at Stanimals, it was awesome. Got really drunk. I put down 20 ciders and I'm carrying four with me for today. I really gotta stop drinking though. Gotta make it to Maine, you know what I'm saying? But I am waiting for a package anyway. So I figured, why not? The vape shop didn't have what I was looking for, but the dude was really nice and super helpful. So now I'm following his directions to a gas station that'll probably have what I need to get my luxury item working again. And then I'll mosey on over for the free camping. Oh, it's definitely Tuesday. I just saw an amazing tushy. I just had to get myself something to do today. You know, this would have made a lot more sense to wait and do this when I was hiking out of here. This is ridiculous. Also, I have so much stuff in my pack that I had to keep my luxury item on the back here. Normally, when I'm in town, I like to conceal that a little bit. Well. As I was crossing the road, the light turned green for people to turn left. So I had to stop and wait for a few vehicles. And I stopped right in front of the cops. So I was a little nervous. Still am, actually. <laughs> oh, I guess if they haven't pulled me over yet, I'm probably good. But I finally see the gas station that I'm looking for. I hope they have what I need. Well, I was almost excited. The guy said he had him. He went back to take a look and couldn't find him. He said he'll check again. I'm gonna stop back tomorrow before I get out of here if my package comes in. It's a bummer, because the next town is quite a ways away. I'm actually considering going to the library to get some Wi-Fi and maybe order one online and see if I can have it sent to uh, either a hostel on the way, or, I mean, there's really not much for the next little while. That's why I was hoping to get it squared away today before I leave town, but whatever. Just a, just a wasted few miles. Town miles don't count anyway, right? I messaged Pink Panther the other day asking about how the hiker box looked and she pulled out a bunch of stuff threw it in a bag and when I got there yesterday she gave me the bag and it was a lot of stuff I uh, went and bought a very few and when I went to Walmart I bought just a few things you know tuna packets and ramen noodles <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm carrying too much food again <laughs> whatever at least I'm not going hungry for a while. That's for sure. Apparently it's frowned on to lay down in the library. Whatever. Kind of a mixed bag coming out of the library. My dude is gonna send me, he actually sent it. My guy sent me a package. The only problem is it didn't get overnighted like he mentioned he might do. And it's not gonna get here until Friday. 
Now, I'm half tempted to stick around until Friday because that's when the Pink Panther is going to get back on trail. And it would be awesome to hike with her again. But at the same time, I'm trying to make it to Maine. And at this point, I got like 14 mile days every day. No zeros to make by the time it closes. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to have them bounce it because it's in a flat rate up to Harper's Ferry. I know it's kind of a far ways away. But I was looking... There's really not too many places that you can send a package to between here or there. And all the places that you can are like 8, 9, 10 miles off trail. So, Harper's Ferry it is. <laughs> now, I think it's like 5, 6 o'clock. I'm going to go drink these four, so I'm not carrying them. And then I'm going to hitch back to the trailhead, and I'm going to see how many miles I can get in today. I got to get moving. It's time for me to move on. You know, a lot of people say that this journey is all about the smiles, not the miles. I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with that right now. I think this journey is all about the people. I just met Rusty from Rusty's Hollow Hostel. What an amazing dude. Great conversation. He gave me a headlamp. Mine's on its last leg. It's been cutting in and out. But it's just the people you meet out here can be amazing. You know? I mean, I, I walked into the park to finish my four ciders, and he's sitting there talking with another hiker. Conversation leads to me getting a free ride. Just, it's so cool. You can't beat it out here. Rusty's been running his hostel for longer than I've been alive. He said he's had almost 15,000 hikers come through. And you can just tell that he's a genuine good dude. You know? Just the 30 minutes, maybe an hour that I spent with this guy, I don't want to say changed my life, but it reminded me of what the trail is all about, you know what I'm saying? He says a lot of people are passing up on his hostel to uh, go to the Devil's Backbone. So anybody planning a future trip? If you're not a drinker or you don't want to be part of the party environment, I would highly recommend going to Rusty. Seven o'clock, back on trail. Probably not hiking too far tonight, but it's good to be back. Oh yeah. Since Glasgow, I was hoping to make it to Waynesboro in time to hang out with the Miss Janet. Well, maybe she was thrown off with the pocket ham <laughs> because I didn't hear anything back from her. But I wouldn't have it any other way because my journey through Waynesboro was awesome. Pink Panther, Rusty, just the whole experience. You know, just awesome. Surprisingly, I'm feeling decent considering that I drank 20 ciders last night ice cream, pizza, and chocolate milk this morning. A quarter after eight. This spot looks just flat enough. Elkwalla Wayside, 85 miles from here, looks like my next free Wi-Fi spot. It says it's sometimes available, but I'm hoping, because that's where I'm going to bump my package from Waynesboro, and that's kind of an important big deal right now. So... I could do 20 mile days. It's only like four days away. But my pack is so heavy with all the food I have. I don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get set up here tonight. Try to get out early. And get a good long day of hiking in. Wish me luck. Wish me luck.